guys welcome back to my channel my name is glam by annette um i just wanted to do a quick brow tutorial for you guys um i've been uh, jumping into kind of a new um way i do my brows and i just want to really quick share it with you guys because i know that they don't make a brow color to match your exact brows everyone's brows are a different color you guys dye your hair then you don't really you know it doesn't match any colors people have so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using real quick and then um I just want to get out my brushes that I'm going to use okay so I'm going to be using the Morphe M158 and the Morphe M335 and the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette and the Morphe um, brow pomade in Java and Erm um, Java and Almond. So I use Java for the back uh, for um, I use the lighter one almond for the front of my brows, but I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you guys could also do me a favor, if you guys like what you see, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am doing a really big giveaway here um, with a high-end bundle. And please don't forget to um, hit that bell notification that's right there so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i am going to be getting back to my youtube channel like um i'm going to start trying to upload like at least three times a week so yeah let's just jump right into it so we don't take forever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using mostly these two colors but i will dip into that one in a little bit so i literally just take my brush and i flatten it out with a paper towel i just take my brush and i like go like that so that it's very flat I dip very lightly into the pomade and then I will dip into these two colors together and um, my brows are a little they need to be trimmed and stuff but I just want to show you guys this because there's many people that can't find especially with red hair can't find their color I was gonna do one on and one off but I'm pretty sure I could do this pretty quickly so that I won't be on here too long, but I'm, I just start out by um, lining my brow. And I cannot do my brows without a Q-tip. Everybody makes in front of me because they say I should stay, take stock on Q-tips. Okay. And I'm just going to outline them like I would normally do. You literally use the smallest amount of pomade. I, I really barely use pomade now. So, there is one outline of my brow. And I'm going to quickly do the other one. Because I do not like... Um, I like outlining both of them before I fill them in because sometimes you just can't get them to match and you have to finagle one brow. And if you have the other one filled in, then it's really hard to go back and... Um, I wait, 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 made that too long. And if you guys got BoxyCharm, you were able to grab this palette for $6 on their add-ons. Um, I actually did get four of them. That's how in love I am with this, um, sorry you guys, I am very, very shaky. <clears throat> because I haven't been feeling good. I've been having a migraine and uh, I've been down all weekend. So, okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is just squeeze my brush again, dip into that pomade, and dip into both of those colors like I told you. And then I'm going to just start filling this in. And I don't dip in the pomade every single time because you don't need that much pomade. And don't worry because you are going to clean up your brows. And I do clean up my brows before I go in with concealer. And I will show you guys that too. Um, I'm getting ready to dye my hair. Let me know down below if you guys want me to. I'm going to do it live on Facebook. But let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to um, video it. And put it on here also. Because I really don't mind to have to um, edit it. I'll just put music over my, like, over my voice when I'm going to talk. Because obviously I'm going to be live on Facebook, but I will try and make a video, um, and let you guys know, um, when I'm going to do it. I would do it live, um, with you guys and with Facebook at the same time, but I can't do that anymore because they, um, switched how many subscribers you need to go live, and that is why I am trying to get, um, my channel growing again because... I'm annoyed that I can't go live. So now I'm going to switch into the lighter pomade. And I'm also going to add a little bit of that lighter color in there. And this is being, the, I'm doing this very softly, but don't worry because um, I'm going to clean it up really good. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to just clean that up like that. I try not to use makeup remover because it really does make it harder to get the product to stick if you want to get it to stick where you use that makeup um, remover so so I just take that and using q-tips really does make the brow po process so much easier I promise you I wouldn't lie so I go through a lot of Q-tips. And they'll look a lot different too when we, um, you know, get both of them done. So don't come for me. Everyone has their own way of doing it. And I don't do my eyebrows exactly like you do yours. That's okay. We all, you know, do it a, di a different way. There's no rules in makeup. But if you guys do enjoy, like I said, um, you can always hop over to my Facebook channel. Um, I'm, I am trying to change my name on my Facebook channel so that all of my names can be glammed by Annette, but Facebook is having, I don't know, some issues or something. And, um, it hasn't been letting me change my name. So for right now, it is the Glam Queen. And you'll kind of know when you need more pomade because it'll kind of get kind of dry. And you'll get less color on your um, eye, eyebrow. Oh, 
But um, I'm going to tell you, ever since I have been doing this, and I don't know anybody else that does this besides Hank and Henry himself, I did see him do this, and I was like, oh my god, he does it the same way I do mine. I just couldn't believe it because, like, a lot of people don't even set their brows with a powder. And to be honest with you, um, setting your eyebrows with a powder is so, so, so important if you would like them to last, you know, throughout the day. And another thing that I don't do that everybody does, basically, is I don't fade my brows like everyone else. I just don't like it on me. I think I'm way too old. I just think that it doesn't look good on me, so I don't do it. I do lighten them up a little bit in the front when I'm cleaning them up. But, yeah. It just depends how you like your brows, that's all. And your brows aren't sisters, they're cousins, but so... I don't like to solely clean up my brows with a concealer. I don't like that at all. So there are my brows, um, like that. So now I'm gonna grab my concealer, and you don't really need... Shut your pomade when you're done with that, because you don't want it to dry out. Um, and I don't normally use the Morphe, but, um, I did grab it because it was on sale. Um, and, um... Yeah, I winded up really liking it. So I'm just going to take some of my um, Tarte concealer and we're going to jump in. I'm going to flatten my brush and then I'm just going to get some concealer on my brush. And don't worry, I don't normally um, conceal the top brow with um, concealer. I normally do that with my foundation just because um, I have super duper dry skin and and I have so much foundation. I mean, I have so much concealer too, but um, I just would rather do it with foundation than concealer, that's all. Just because it looks better. I don't like having that. And if you find a really, really good brush that cleans up your eyebrows, it will make for a easier clean brow also. I would love to tell you what brush I'm using, but unfortunately, I don't know where I got this brush at. Um, these are some brushes that I did not even use until my brow brush broke and then I had to find a new one and I was like, oh, I think this will work. And now it's my favorite. Okay, so I just take this brush and blend this out really good. And if you practice, I promise you will be able to get your brows like this and I don't think it takes me that long to do my brows and it's fine if you don't like your brows like I like my brows everyone isn't going to like love their brows the same you know we don't all like to do our brows the same and that's why there's no rules in makeup 
So, like I said, you guys, I am trying really, really hard to get back on to YouTube, um, like, three times a week I want to start uploading, but, um, I've just been so, so busy with my house, um, you guys know, or maybe you don't know, but I'm pretty sure I told you in my last video that I went through a divorce, I am now single, I am loving my life, I chose to keep the house, so it's a lot of work, um, I don't mind though, I have found myself again, and I have lost 178 pounds, um, and I literally am loving life again, and a lot of people are like, oh my god, like, how did you lose so much weight? And I'm going to do a video explaining. Because I didn't go on any crash diet. It's not like I was so depressed. I didn't eat. None of that was a factor in why I lost weight. Um, the reason why I lost weight is because I was literally being kept to think that I couldn't do anything. And I know people are probably like, well, how's that? Like... Literally, like, I broke my back, make a, a long story short, and, you know, my wife was caring for me, and every time I would even get up to go get a drink, she would be like, oh, no, 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 I got it. So, it was, like, just weird. And I'm pretty mad at myself that I even let that happen because I'm a very strong woman. So there's my brows using the Hank and Henry um, In Living Color Palette. You guys should definitely give this a try. You can make it redder. You can skip the brown altogether if you like your brows more of this color. And I do kind of normally um, use more of this color because I, I am getting ready to dye my hair. So I do um, like to use the redder. And I used to use the Smashbox. Um brow liner and um eyeshadow palette this one which is a good one too it's a smashbox photo matte eyeshadow liner and brow powder um and i still do use that one because they have like this red one in here but see how this one's so much darker than the hank and henry so that's why i am loving the hank and henry one um so you know if you can't find um a pomade to match your hair just get your palettes open make sure it's matte make sure it's a good you know a good palette pigmented palette because it's not going to look right if it's not a really pigmented palette um but i just wanted to hop on really quick and show you guys um my new way of doing my brows and they look bomb they really do i really do love them and like i told you guys I am very, very picky when it comes to my brows, so I could sit here all day and literally, like, pick at my brows. Um, and I do go live on Facebook, and everyone laughs at me because I am so picky about my brows. Um, but when you get them away and you love them, then you like to do them that way. And I don't know why I'm so picky and anal, but I just am. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yes, I miss you guys so much. So, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to try to upload um, videos for you guys at least three times a week. Um, I know many of you guys probably don't know who I am. But I'm hoping that you guys will give me a chance to watch my videos. Because I know and I'm pretty confident in my makeup skills. Um, but you can find me on Instagram by Glam by Annette. And on my Facebook um, page is the Glam Queen. Like I said, I am trying to get that switched over. So just don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification. Because there I do have a lot of good content coming up. I'm going to be doing story time on, you know, my divorce and how I lost all my weight and all of that. So if you're interested, keep watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!